ฮิสแมจสตีคิงมหาวชราลังกรพระวชระเกล้าเจ้าอยู่หัวโอเดตฟอร์ดีโรยกรถินเซรามนีบายดีโรยบาร์ชโปรเซชั่นออนเดคเคชั่นออฟเดคอรเนชั่นเซรามนี2019 to be held on Thursday the 24th of October 2019 the route will start from วาสุกรีเพียร์ and end at วัดอรุณราชวรารามราชวรมหาวิหาร or the Temple of Dawn Thai people eagerly wait to see the royal bars procession, which will be the first such event for the present reign. As for the royal processions of Thai kings since the ancient time, besides the journey on land known in Thai as p a y u h a y a t r a t a n g s t o l a m a k or the royal land procession, royal processions along rivers called p a y u h a y a t r a t a n g c h o l a m a k was another important mode of travel. Apart from the organizing of the royal b a r s h processions for kings to conduct Buddhist religious royal ceremonies, royal processions were also arranged for other important occasions, such as the royal b a r s h procession along the edge of the capital city on the occasion of the coronation ceremony. The latter aimed to allow Thai people opportunities to admire the royal grace of the kings in similar ways to that of the royal land procession. Along the edges of the capital city, the royal processions along the edges of the capital city on the occasion of the coronation ceremony held during the Ratanakosin period involved only the parade on land in some reigns, while during other reigns, the processions were organized for both on land and along rivers. A King Rama the Ninth, following his coronation, did not travel on any royal procession, but later. Graciously ordered for the reparation of royal ceremonial barges, and reintroduced the royal cutting ceremony to offer robes to Buddhist monks at Wat Arun Rajawaram, Rajawarat Mahavihan, or the Temple of Dawn. The royal barge processions revived during the reign of King Rama the Ninth were in accordance with ancient royal traditions. This had allowed Thais opportunities to witness the royal barge processions. Which set Thailand as the one and only country with such kind of grand and unique ceremonial beauty, and now His Majesty King Mahavajralongkorn, Phra Vajraklao Cha Yu Hua, is continuing preserving and building upon the royal traditions in his reign. The government has designated the Royal Thai Navy as the principal authority in the organization of the royal barge procession on this occasion. The fleet will consist of 52 barges, with important vessels being the Royal Barge s u p a n n a h o n g the Royal Barge a n a n t a n a k a r a t the Royal Barge n a r a i Song Suban r a c h a k a n t i k a o or the Royal Barge n a r a i Song Suban His Majesty King Rama the Ninth, and the Royal Barge a n e k a c h a t Puchong. There were also other royal ceremony barges, such as animal masthead barges, plane barges, military barges. The royal barge procession will utilize 2,200 personnel who had undergone continuous training in preparation for the event. The route of the royal barge procession will be the same as that taken by His Majesty King p u m i p o n a d u n y a d e the Great. It will travel from w a s u k r i Pier to Wat Arun Rajawararam, Rajawara Mahavihan, or the Temple of Dawn, the distance of 4.2 kilometers. The fleet formation will comprise five columns and three rows, designed according to the ancient royal traditions. But slight adjustment is made from that used for the royal barge procession of His Majesty King p u m i p o n a d u n y a d e the Great. His Majesty King m a h a w a c h a r a l o n g k o n พระวชรกล้าวจะอยู่หัว will travel on board the royal barge s u p a n n a h o n g which will serve as the leading royal barge for the procession. And now. All sectors involved are at their most readiness for the historic event of the royal procession along the edge of the capital city, the first royal barge procession of the present reign. Its elegance will befit the royal status and will continue the ancient royal tradition that exists only in one place in the world. <laughs>